Hey, what's up guys, it's Thrasher, and today I got a story about the time me and my friend Wax got caught up by the ops. But before I get into this, I made a song somewhat about the incident, it was kind of an inspiration for the song. It's called Dropper Top on SoundCloud, I'll have a link in the description, and here's a snippet. Getting caught up by the ops, just smoking in the parking lot, question but we never talk, okay. up until they bring the dog that hey, it all but hey, left hey, along without a piece. So this story takes place February of this year. Started out like a normal day, like always. I just woke up probably late as hell, went to school, took a few dabs, went to like one class, then went to work. You know, just nothing crazy there either. Just blasted doing dishes, thinking of bars to pass the day on quickly. But as we were almost closed, me and three other homies I worked with made like snowballs out of the leftover rice we had and threw them at the Einstein bagels, literally just neighboring our store. I don't remember why, but it was just something that happened. Anyway, we all got like clocked out and I'm giving my friend Wax a ride home because he just lives next to me, you know, like literally street down. And the blizzard just like comes out of nowhere. So like we're driving and we can't see like three feet in front of us. Eventually, as like we got off the freeway, it started calming down a bit and we passed some guys who like crashed onto the median because like the road's icy and all that. So like good guy Thrasher, I pulled over and we helped out the guys. And it was funny because, like, we're just trying to push the car off and, like, it's it's definitely, like, lodged on there, you know? It's, it's, it's stuck. So we're trying to push it. And there's two, like, middle-aged, like, Wendy's workers, you know? And one of the other bros, like, <laughs> has his, like, bag, which I can only assume is his, like, drug bag or, like, weed bag or whatever. And he runs across the street to hide it behind, like, a tree just in case of, like, cops come or something. It was funny. Eventually, probably, like, 10, 20 minutes pass and a bigger truck with like straps to like help tow the thing like he comes and like helps and so I can't feel my fingers I can't feel me like I'm freezing so like I'm like cool you guys good cool go back into the goddamn car and just blast the heater because it's so cold and so we start driving back you know it's like a three more minute four more minute drive till we're home and I decide to you know just park at the seminary building of a middle school that's near us just because it's relatively secret like it's there's a long road into it there's no main roads near it so i thought it would be a safe place to just smoke up it's been a long work day freezing ass balls cold and just fuck smoke up so we're smoking like our third or fourth bowl or something at this point and a cop passes so i you know i'm i'm hiding the pipe down by my side and the cop passes and flashes like his white lights and just drives off right so i'm like oh thank god we have to finish this bowl quick you know like i didn't have to finish the bowl but my dumb ass high ass brain was all just like it's already there just finish the bowl it's just a couple more hits that's it and so we're going just trying to speed run this bowl and then my soul left my body as I went to pass the bowl and I look out walks window, the passenger side window, and I see truck headlights pulling around into the long ass like driveway to the seminary. And I'm just, oh shit, oh shit. And walks like, what? And like looks over, he's like, oh fuck bro, like shit. Like we literally can't do anything. We just like got done smoking. I. Thank God I only had, like, a grinder of weed, the pipe, and a little puck, literally less than a gram of dab. And so, like, it wasn't a ton, but it was still, fuck, you know? And so he comes up, and, like, he, he blocks, like, the driveway so he can't, like, try to run away or some dumb shit. And he comes up, knocks on the window. Keep in mind, it's still snowing and shit. So he knocks on the window, he's like, hey, what's up, what you guys doing? And I was like, oh, we just got off work, so we're just chilling at the, like, seminary, you know, we're just chilling, freestyling, whatever, just came up with a dumb excuse, you know? He was all, you guys smell like a mix of fast food and weed. Am I far off? I just kind of look at him, kind of like, look away, you know? And he's like, all right, I need to see your guys' identification, let me just get that real quick i'll go run some shit and we're gonna have the dogs come and i was like fuck <laughs> and so runs in our identifications or whatever comes back out i was like can you guys step out of the vehicle another cop truck pulls out 
and I'm shaking. I'm freezing, bro. It's literally like negative two degrees, it feels like. I'm uncontrollably shaking. It is just so cold. So I'm literally just standing outside of my car while they're like, they have the dogs out, right? And I'm just like shaking, just freezing because I'm literally in a wet t-shirt, wet pants because I work dishes in the middle of like a blizzard type shit. So like, I'm just freezing and homie's like, do you want to like go into the back of the truck while we search your car? And I'm like really hesitant to say yes, but I literally feel like I'm going to get hypothermia if I don't. So I'm just like, yes, please. And so I'm sitting in the back of one cop truck and Walks is sitting in the other cop truck. And then he comes back and is like, hey, we found a little tiny puck of dab, but we're not going to get you for that. No, we'd really just paraphernalia like the pipe you know so that's what i'm gonna write you down just drug paraphernalia and i was like all right sounds good can i leave he was like no fuck no your mom's on her way and i was like nah nah, nah. like i was like fuck like this is game bro this is game they told my mom and i'm just over here shitting my pants 10 times harder because they called my mom and so I'm just waiting in the cop car anxiously. And my buddy actually has a video of him in the cop car. I'll play that right here. In the back of the main back van. But I'm just shaking, freaking out like my mom's on her way. Like, God damn it. What? I fucked up. I fucked up. And eventually I see her headlights pull up and I'm like, oh, God. The cop comes, lets me out because no handles from the inside, you know. And I go over to my mom and she's pissed she's just fuming bro like just the look she gave me it wasn't even like pissed it was just like damn you're my kid like it was just like fucking pure disappointment and i was just like damn <laughs> and then after a minute the cop co like the cop followed me right and my mom rolled down her window and was like hey stay right here We're g we gotta wait for walks parent to get here so I can issue you guys both citations, then you guys will be good to go. And then just ran us down the citation when Mo Walk's mom came. And also, <laughs> when Walk's mom came, bro, just the look she gave me. It was, it was terrible. It was like, man. <laughs> I could tell she was disappointed in me, too. It was just, damn. You feel me? Then after everything, like I said, cop just ran us through the citation, said he only got us for drug paraphernalia, even though there was dab in there and he could have blah, 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 you know? But anyway, we go back to my house and it's like, fuck, 2 a.m. So we just instantly just go home and go to sleep, you know? I wasn't really allowed to go out for quite a bit. Like I was, I was in some deep shit. I don't necessarily remember the punishment but i do remember going back to get my car the next day and they took the pipe they took the grinder but they left the torch and the metal straw for the dab they took the dab and they took a bowl piece for the bong but didn't take the bong like it was just the funniest shit to me they took everything but the bong and then like fuck, a month or so later like almost an entire month later I had like a virtual meeting with my assigned parole officer, right? They assigned me a parole officer and I had a virtual meeting like in Zoom with it. And she was just going over like risk factor. Like, are you a risk to other people? Are you a risk to yourself? Like, are you addicted? And I just, I only smoke weed on the weekends. Like I, I do my schoolwork and blah, 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 this and this and this. And I only had to pay $43. Like that was the grand total. I honestly thought it was going to be so much more. But that about wraps up this video. So if you liked it, like my shit. Go watch more of my shit. Subscribe to my shit. Listen to my shit. It's on SoundCloud right now. I'm planning something for Spotify eventually. Eventually. But SoundCloud right now. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Shawty see me, then she drop a top, but I walk it off like it's nothing more than a sneeze or cough. Cause I've been taught not to fuck around with a thought, just fuck around and buy a shot. Light another bowl of pot, don't get caught, but I'll never stop, never gonna flop. Making this my job, getting caught up by the ops, just smoking in the parking lot. Question, but we never talk. Up until they bring the dog, they take it off, but left a bong without a piece.